I miss these little segments we do. Scientists have long predicted that one day, sadly, the sun will die. But how and when has somewhat been a mystery until now. Researchers have a prediction, and they say it's nothing we got to worry about because we're going to be long gone by then. <laughs> Dave of the Science Pro has more <laughs> on um, all of that Great. this morning. Way to ruin the ending Sorry, for me. Man. Thanks a lot, Russell. Sorry. Buried the lead. Yeah. No, <laughs> you know... The sun itself is about 4.6 billion, that's with a B, years old. So just how much energy is left in this sun? Well, they first they gauge the age of our sun by other objects in the solar system that formed really around the same time. So astronomers predict, listen to this folks, this is sad, that the sun will reach the end of its life in about 10 billion Oof years, Russell. But I, to go. but I have some good news. We will not be around to <laughs> notice the end of this. Even if we were able to find a pill that was a, to allow us to just stay healthy and stay alive, it doesn't matter because in about one billion with a B years, the sun is going to overtake the Earth. So really what's going to happen is brightness in the sun increases by 10% every billion years. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but in a billion years, that brightness will be enough to evaporate our oceans and the surface will become too hot for water to form. And that'll be about it. But really? let's just say we can adapt to that. Okay, <laughs> Russell? Yes. Four billion years after that, Something else is going to happen. The sun is going to become what they call a red giant. Okay, so the inner core is going to start to shrink, but the outer core comes out and it's going to overtake the Earth at that point and it will make it all the way to, say, Mars. Okay, so, so if you can make it through the first round of issues, the second round of issues, and then eventually in about 10 billion years, what's going to happen is it's going to become a white dwarf and then a planetary nebula. That's what this study is about. What happens after it reaches that red giant stage? It becomes what they call a planetary nebula. It ejects mass of gas and dust known as its envelope into space and after that there'll be 10,000 years of just a bright light and that will be about it for our sun. So we got about the way I look at it Russell to be honest a little less than a billion years to find another habitable planet that so, we can you know get to and perhaps keep the civilization going. Yeah. It gives us some time though. So we, so the, I mean, my takeaway here is eventually it just blows itself up, yes? Basically, it just expands, okay, and it kind of eats up the first four planets yeah. itself just with its size. And then it just literally just runs out of gas, yeah. so to speak. But it's going to take a long, long, long time for that to happen. So once we get to Mars, we're going to have to then go somewhere else after that. But we've got a billion years before we need to worry about this, okay? All right. I'll, that's your problem, not mine. Thank oh, you. I won't be around in a billion years. <laughs> I, nope, not happening. <laughs> See you later, man. That was yeah. interesting, though. Thank yeah. you.